We're going to be starting the best of three series between the two following teams, All-Stars and Luna. Indeed. So we've seen All-Stars play already. We've seen what they can do. Yep. Luna, that's a new name to me. It is, yeah. And uh, we're getting really acquainted with some of these newer teams that are coming in, you know, perhaps teams that maybe not so well known or they're in other tournaments, but now they're here all for the money because the Alienware Awesome Cup is the you know, largest prize pool in the Awesome Night history. They've made it to round of 16, which means they have now the right for best of three, and they have a really powerhouse uh, opponent because we have seen Duckman Drake and crew here on stream with All-Star. They did phenomenal. They made it, obviously, here to round of 16. And I hear some really good things about this game. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the picks so that way we can see what we've got in store for us in our very first game. Team All-Stars being made up of Frog, Leon, and Skoldir. On the other team, Team Luna, we've got Lone Star, Frog, and Yuri. Oh, and this is on Eggy oh, Young. Oh, Yuri, monkey not pleased. But as far as we understand, these are, uh, like, the All Stars is playing in the makeup that they are used to. We've seen this out of them before. Duck mm -hmm. Drake on Leon yep. is, is definitely something that works out. And Harry Butchers, like I said, helped program Skoldir. So you can probably expect <laughs> to see him <laughs> on Skoldir because he knows his stuff. Luna, we don't know how they play yet, but we have yet to have seen a Yuri. Now, I love. Yuri in the sense that I think he's a very powerful knot and I think he has a lot to offer a team but uh, we've seen Lone Star and we've seen Frog we know what can come out of this can they use Yuri's strengths to the benefit of their team is the question and I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do that but you know what I'm I'm I am ready and willing to be surprised it is going to be on Aguilon once more and this is actually a pretty strong map for Yuri, believe it or not. And, you know, we don't have the open skies for the jetpack to kind of go around, but there's a lot of vertigo space in the mid, and those mines stacking up on jump pads means that you're going to be denying some of that mobility to your opponents, and you can really do some interesting things with that deny. I think that you're entirely right on that. With good mine placement, the other team is going to have a very difficult time being able to engage at all. And so they all don't three have a of them. Start to clear it. Exactly. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started? As we see this map on Aiguillon, yet again, and this was picked, remember, they didn't have to do Aiguillon, but they decided to do it anyway. So, the omelette of fromage being played by Duckman Drake. Then we got Harry Butchers on the Skoldier, no surprise there. And finally, Daniel Will on Frog. We've got K Luna on Frog for Team Luna, and she's going to take some fists to the face, but going to walk off. And Luna God. Luna God on the Yuri. Just doing his best to be spastic <laughs> over here. And finally, Monsieur Papoui on the Lone Star. I'm just going to call him Monsieur from now, or Papoui, one of the two. But or Lone Star. Or Lone Star. Lone Star <laughs> works. So we've got all this stuff going on. Luna God taking a lot of damage. And one thing that th that uh, Team All-Stars has going for them is that, on like, all things considered, they've got a Leon and they've got a Yuri uh, on yep. Luna. Yep. Leon beats Yuri a lot of the time because his sword knocks Yuri out of the sky. So Same with his tongue. Yep. So Luna God needs to be extremely careful about what happens. I would say that Luna needs to pick up that immunity on Bubble as soon as possible in order to make this uh, a successful game for his team. So they've been doing a little bit of footsies here. You can see the mines now also adding up. Luna God is going to just stop any kind of bigger pushes. You can also see, again, the mines coming down here. It means that Duckman, Drake, and crew just can't kind of commit to that. So what are some of these level 1 items coming out? Well, it's basically base on all sides except School Deer. Oh, well, Luna God might go down here. Even though he's invisible, he almost died. They managed to find him just by bumping into bumping into the Yuri. Because you're here. invisible doesn't mean you're invisible. Exactly. <laughs> Luna, K Luna, uh, taking a bit of damage. Now hiding down here, waiting for something to happen. But I'm not sure if that's very wise. Skolier punching the turret up here as best as he can with his fists of steel. But, uh, oh, Pepwee gets tongued. Nothing else happening there. And Frog doing a dash. But uh, it seems like this is just going to be... Uh, steady push up here from these three. Mm, nice tongue right there from Luna God, but not really any kind of big capitalization past that. It's basically, we're going to be playing a zoning and area control game with the Yuri, which means that they're going to be looking to pick five. Yuri's been laying down those mines, because then we know that uh, anytime gravity, you know, whatever comes up must come down, right? Uh, you're just basically going to pack a punch when they actually do land on top of those mines. The problem, though, is that we have a very mobile comp, and... Uh, that's the problem. <laughs> well, we've got a very mobile comp, but in that case, that was a really big misplay out of K Luna, thinking that it was a good idea to dash on Duckman Drake. 
Leon having a decent amount of burst, even at level one, and then Lunagod getting picked out there. Pepwi being the only one left alive on his team. Uh, two kills at the three minute mark in favor of Team All Stars right out of the gate. This is looking really good for them as they start their own split push, and Duckman Drake just getting some damage down here. It doesn't bode well, but look at that burst. Duckman Drake, he's done this before. He's a slippery character to nail down, and now he's playing footsies. Here comes Daniel Will. Harry Butch is now to the forefront as well. It's not going to be a kill. Not today. It actually might even be a return here on top of Kaluna. Had that tongue landed, it really might have been. I think Kaluna's going to be okay for now. But regardless, 2-0 is not where you want to be in an early game scenario. But you're also noticing that Luna God, he's kind of being forced out from that top lane. He has to now go help with his team, and there's no mines to be fighting on. That's true, and with mines being spread out all over the place, they're a lot easier to jump over and to platform around. So it's not nearly as big of a problem. Oh, Harry Butcher's taking a lot of damage. Luna God now being picked off. The NATO going to be enough to kill him. K Luna now running for oh, his life, but it's, it's not going to be enough. A well-placed tongue out of uh, Duckman Drake is going to go ahead and s secure uh, yet another kill. Four kills at the four-minute mark yeah. in favor of Team All-Stars. Now, what might have been a better match instead of uh, perhaps the Lone Star or the Frog is uh, it's very popular to see a Yuri with a Leon because the tongue into mines is something that's very hard to kind of play around. But we don't have any kind of big pulls here to combo with the Yuri. So it's really about just choosing your battleground. And right now, All-Stars is saying, we don't want to fight on your grounds, but we'll clearly take you on ours. Absolutely. And uh, that, again, goes, like, what you're saying makes perfect sense. You're forcing the Yuri to fight on, on different ground, which is a problem. Uh, especially because if Yuri's fighting on some place he didn't plan to fight on, he's extremely vulnerable. He needs to find a way to make himself a lot less uh, vulnerable to being displaced. And I think that immunity is the only way to do it. Harry Butcher is taking a bull to the turret. He's looking really low, but he's going to actually get out of there by the look of things. <laughs> he gets a throw out on Mr. Pepui. And oh. Luna God takes a fist to the face. Is it going to be enough? Yep, it's going to be enough. Harry Butcher's getting out by the skin of his fists. Literally the skin of his face, yeah, because that was a mine that uh, your last ditch effort stopped mid, landed on a mine, or well, you know, put down a mine, and then he died. So he was looking for that trade, he's looking for the 1 1 to put the kill on the board here for Luna, but they're just not having any of it. And All Stars is now sitting at 6 0, soon to be 7 if that burst is there, and it is. Uh, yeah, Messi Pepe going down to another carefully concocted laser, like laser sharp tongue, and all the rest of it. Like it's just. It, it's happening all over again. Duckman Drake gets off a good tongue, and that's enough damage to get things started. Just look, he's already got the damage upgrade. Good to go. And the top turret, as you see, is nearly destroyed. Bottom not faring so well either, although it's uh, almost a reverse of the hit points on <laughs> its top, brethren. Still money, money, money. Look at that solars, and 950, 912, 887. We're not holding a candle to that here for Luna. No, okay, Luna's unfortunately at 600, 656, and 750. They're barely catching up, and they already used their piggy bank. Like, they already used the last ditch attempt to do stuff, and that's that's not good. That's actually really bad. Oh, Luna goes down to another dive, tongue, terribleness. Uh, Duckman Drake going in for some more damage. If he gets mined one more time, though, he might be in trouble, and he just he doesn't get mined in the end. So he's going to get out of there. Monsieur Pepui going for double dynamite. All three of these people are extremely low, but the yeah. burst that they can put out is enough that Monsieur Pepui cannot go in there. If he does, he is so dead. And nobody can actually kind of initiate on anyone either. It's just low hit points across the board. I was curious to see if that actually was going to be a Yuri laser build because I was looking at his lasers like, is that talented? Is that item? I'm not entirely too sure right now, but uh, no, no lasers. In fact, we don't have any kind of real upgrades as of yet for uh, Luna. No, nope. they've got a blaster upgrade for Lone Star and hammer pants on Frog, both of which are fairly but typical. Nothing on the Yuri. But nothing on the Yuri yet. Yuri is sitting on 300 solar right now, so he could go home oh, fairly soon to wow. pick up his mind damage. Look at that shopping but uh, no dice yet. Oh my goodness, that is going to be terrifying. <laughs> Duckman Drake picks up the silence on Leon's tongue. That is going to be absolutely damning for K Luna on the uh, blue team's Frog. If he gets tongued, he can't move, and. Daniel Will picking up another kill on Monsieur Pepui as uh, Kayluna also taking some of the brunt of that damage and can't really go near this other team right yet. Uh, Rocket Droid going to help support the push here too. Well, Rocket Droid's going to... Oh, that was actually a, a soak there from Daniel Will with that dash. Looking to keep that Rocket Droid up. But I was going to say, the Rocket Droid is just going to eat the mines. Oh, wow. Duckman takes on Pluna after the, on the back of that. 10 and 0 now. One of the kills, All-Stars is uh, really living up to his name. Absolutely, and it's impressive uh, just 
what kind of that was another big misplay out of Kluna. It just that didn't make any sense. Kluna came up to try to steal one of the uh, neutral creeps, but it cost him uh, his life because he was at such low HP, and all it required was one tongue at uh, with one damage upgrade, the one big damage upgrade that Leon has to secure a kill. And look at that. Uh, that tongue is doing a third of Frog's HP. Well, it is actually not talented today. Well, it does have the one piercing, but after that, it's uh, super stretch, I want to say. Stretch and silence, yep. Yeah. Daniel Will getting really well bullpinned, but no follow-up, unfortunately. But this is the first time we've not seen, uh, you know, the massive amount of piercing. So it's not even like a huge damage tongue, but it's clearly enough. Daniel Will actually take on the combo, and Yuri is actually going to drop. Low hit points. You will see, time and again, all-stars get out with low hit points, but, you know, an inch or a mile, a win is a win, a kill is a kill. Absolutely, and one thing that the, the Team All-Stars is really good at doing is playing extremely close to the wire. If they can get a kill, they will do their best to get a kill, and they have the skill to pull it off without immediately dying for it, even though they have very low HP. Uh, Mr. Pep, we managed to pick off... That's uh, first kill. Yeah, that was their first kill on the board, and that was largely thanks to some serious greed on part of Duckman Drake, who tried to go for some... Uh, to try to go for those neutrals and just got... Dynamited by a really good uh, prediction out of Monsieur Pepui. Oh. Luna God taking a lot of damage. Harry Butcher is going to go down first, though. And Daniel Will might not be able to catch up. He takes a mine to the face. And uh, that's going to be that. It's now 3v2 uh, in in as an advantage for Team Luna here. Well, 3v1, Leon's still not down. Never mind. But two kills after the back of that. I mean, we did lose out the turret there from Luna, but they were able to capitalize two kills. And now it looked like kind of really greedy play from the Yuri, but he turned out to be excellent bait for the rest of the team. And you know, and All Stars didn't see it coming. But at the same time, the frog is really starting to scare me. Now, if there's a couple of things that I taught, I already talked about the Yuri before. Remember how I said he needed to figure out a way to be less vulnerable? Is that the way? That's exactly what the he that the Yuri has done. Luna God having picked up now the time warp, so everybody in the bubble is sped up. And on top of that, everybody in the bubble is immune to status debuffs. So stuff like stun yep. or slow and that kind of stuff. Damn, so Luna God is eventually going to go down, but not before they get a kill uh, of their own on Daniel Will. Now, Mr. Pepui going to pick up a kill there, and now it's just Duckman Drake versus Mr. Pepui. Who's going to win this? <laughs> Duckman Drake <laughs> by sad. literally the skin of his teeth as he just had enough for tongue. That was, that was the difference of a second. Yep. That was the difference of a second, and that's the only thing that mattered in that kill there. And Duckman Drake just goes right up to that tower. He's like, well, I'm the only one actually on the map, so <laughs> nothing to fear here. Uh, that's going to be a few bars off that top turret. 15 to 4. I mean, we've doubled the amount of kills now on Luna. And as you said, with that Yuri bubble, that's actually going to be uh, a very powerful tool. But Luna God needs to try to actually stay a little bit more out of the line of fire. Duckman Drake did not go home, but he also just didn't hit that mine right there. So that might be it for Luna God, because once you get you know, neck to neck with that Yuri, or sorry, with that Leon, it's hard to get away. Particularly when it's this Leon. Mr. Pepui managing to dodge everything <laughs> almost. <laughs> he hit the mine. <laughs> until uh, Daniel Will manages to get him off. So that's, that's, uh, that's it. That's all she wrote. Dogman Drake now trying to go for a kill here. Daniel Oops. Will's going to help get the kill. It's now secured. It's now 3v1. Luna God being the only one left alive. However, Luna God is going to be extremely difficult to pick off here and has access to mines. So if played correctly, this Yuri could still defend this area fairly well. Well, he's going to try his best, but both lanes are actually getting pushed. And the top is not looking so healthy. That was actually really nice. He jumped in with the jump pad, immediately put down a mine, hit all three of them, and then, of course, the laser did chase them away because you do not want to be near a sped-up laser. I can tell you from experience, that hurts. It burns. But on top of that, that was an incredibly intelligent way to play. Use the bubble as uh, Luna God went in and face my uh, face like uh, face mind them. Yep. That way they couldn't he couldn't be thrown, he couldn't be tongued, he couldn't be silenced, he couldn't be anything because he's got the debuff immunity on the bubble. Mm -hmm. So he could just face might and walk out, no problem. Or face mine and walk out without any <laughs> issue. I was gonna say there's the face there's might. The, there's <laughs> the face mine. Then a lot of extra damage. Everybody was sped up. Now it's the time for everybody to be vulnerable. Oh, Daniel wow. Will just getting out by next to no HP, and he, as he picks up a double kill, Monsieur Pepui now the only one, or oh, never mind, he is no longer left alive. He yeah, is was no a kill. longer with us, Mr. He Will. is no longer with us. So Duckman Drake, Harry Butchers, and Daniel Will now all able to push up this top turret. See, 
Duckman Drake tanking the turret a little bit there, just so that way they can get the creeps up a little bit faster and do some more damage. Hit so points and hit points. Spendable yeah, currency in this bush. <laughs> exactly. So in comes the damage. They're going as far into this as possible. Down goes a third. Almost half of that core is life. So this is this is looking excellent, as if it wasn't this already. Ambush. Oh my. L notice how they've got Duckman Drake just standing <laughs> there. That was that mean. Ambush. Yeah, that was a little mean. That was brilliant, though, as uh, Kluna and Mr. Pepwee are doing their best to defend uh, uh, from this. Harry Butch is really low. If only. Oh, no. Nope. Never mind. He gets punched in the face, and Mr. Pepwee couldn't clinch a kill either. Oh, wait. No, Mr. No, Pepwee did, did clinch Daniel. a kill. Sorry. Yep. He got the Daniel. So Harry Butch versus Duck Man Drake. All it's going to take is one good tongue, and that's all she wrote. One face might, a couple of blaster shots. Nice. Everybody said. dies. Yep. Nobody lives. So now the story is these droids are doing <laughs> yeah. all the pushing by themselves. Luna God's going to go ahead and clear those up, though. So now but the core's down to th a third. That's what, three, four bars just from that one push? I mean, sure, you got the triple, you got the wipeout. I, I really feel your moment there, Monsieur Pepe, but the core, man. The core is everything right now. It is, and unfortunately, everything is dwindling to a very precarious nothing very quickly, down to three bars on that drill core. So as things develop, it looks like All-Stars are going to be the winner here, but... Again, 23-7 in the naked core. It's hard to say otherwise. Exactly. Cool. That's very, very true. However, there's always a chance. You never know. Bubble can do some weird things sometimes. <laughs> awesome Knots 4, a new hope. Exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, Daniel does have invisibility, so the chances of that happening look very slim. Mr. Pepwee getting in Boom. there. He does end up getting dashed. Luna God going in for some face might damage, and he is going to land it. Uh, Mr. Pepwee going in for some damage as well. Kluna just kiting off as best as he can. And they're trying to box in Harry Butchers and Daniel Will, but they're uh, they're having a difficult time just to find that they're actually in control of the situation. Daniel Will going to go in for the dash, and it's just barely not going to kill oh, Luna. Uh, Luna God. And then, oh, Kluna needs to get away, gets tongued instead. And this is looking very, very rough for Luna. But they're sort of, stand they're sort of standing their ground. They are, but at the same time, the core is still really getting ticked down. You see Duck Man Drake, he's always just forcing them back down there. That's going to be a toss, and there it goes. Monsieur Pepwee in the tongue as well. It's just the face punch. You don't want to tank a face punch there from the Skoder, and that is going to be game number one. GG as All-Stars clinch a 26-8 victory here on Aguilar game one. So after 15 minutes, we have our winner for the first round of this best of three between the two. What do you think that Team Luna could have done to uh, to maybe bring this back, like, do you think that they did anything particularly wrong here, or do you think that it was just they just got away from them? They just they just got they, they or did all stars just win? I think it really just did get away from them. I mean, we had multiple two for zero trades early on, mm -hmm. and that that early cash money infusion it starts a snowball, and it's very hard to stop a snowball when it's going down a cliff. <laughs> It, it's, it's really hard. Yeah, well, you know, it's that, a slippery slope. Falling. It's a slippery slope, Mr. Wolf. But once you start snowballing, sometimes it's really hard to, to stop. And I think that was just, you know, All-Stars, they played to their strengths. They got those early game advantages. They, you know, I was thinking, what can they do against these mines? And the answer just ended up not caring. That, that's what they did about them. Like you mentioned before, though, they they almost forced the Yuri to play somewhere where the Yuri was never comfortable. Yeah. They didn't let the Yuri sit there and do mines. They didn't leave him alone. No, they're Matrix always tonguing him. They're always punching him. Exactly. They're always dashing on him. They're constantly harassing yeah. the Yuri and making sure the Yuri could not stay in one spot, and I think that that definitely hurt them a lot. Uh, kudos on picking up the debuff immunity as quickly as uh, Luna God mm. did. Yep. That was smart. that looked like it was starting to really, really help, but it just it wasn't enough. It was too little, too late, and at that point, All-Stars just, they had the damage. They had backstab, chain sword add-ons, and tongue damage <laughs> yeah. with silence to deal with the Yuri. Oh, the silences. Oh, yeah. the silences. That was a really good pickup, dude. That silence. It was. You yep. can tongue a Yuri and, ugh. Anyway, best of the first match going to All-Stars. Yep. It is best of three. It is best of three, though. Yep. So Luna so could bring this back in the next one. They very well could. And we're going to jump into that as soon as we can, guys. We're going to set it up here on our side. So when we return, All-Stars and Luna, hopefully a new map, because, you know, we want to see some of these others here. But Pretty sick of purple. <laughs> but the alien where Awesome Cup will return. Round of 16, game two. Wolf and Jester, we'll go. don't go anywhere. <laughs> It's not over till it's over